Hi guys, this is Shadon from Blogland. Today I'm going to show you how to start a server in Vulture and launch WordPress website. So this is my YouTube channel. Please subscribe on it. So first log into your Vulture account. If you don't have any account, just uh, click on the description link and sign up for your account because you will get $100 for free using my coupon code. So you will get the coupon code in the below. So just create your account first and then log in and then you will be here in the dashboard and then click on plus icon and then deploy new server and select cloud compute and select regular performance Intel and then choose your server location so I would like to choose New York and then click on marketplace apps and then search for WordPress and then select it select it and then choose the startup plan which is five dollar per month and deselect the auto backup check the box and I disable auto backups and then go down below and enter your email address this is my email address and then enter your WordPress block title so my block title is this and then go down below and enter your domain name here so my domain name is this okay this is my domain name and then click on deploy now and you can see our server is installing so it might take 10 to 15 seconds to be installed fully okay finally our server has been installed successfully and the status is running so now I will click on the three dot icon and then click on server details and okay so you will get all the details about your WP admin and all the details about your server and WordPress dashboard here so just this is the link of log to login the WP admin so I will just open link in a new tab okay you can see the domain is working so just open link in a new tab and click on advanced and then go to proceed and it will log into the WordPress dashboard so I will log in so for that copy the password and then paste it here copy the password and username here okay so you can see we have successfully logged into the WordPress dashboard and then now we have to we have to do the something so now we want to change the domain so I'll go to settings and then we have to enter the domain name so for that I I have to log into my domain management system my domain is from Namecheap and you can see I have logged into my domain and then go down below and click on manage and then go to advanced DNS ok just click on add new record and then a record and then enter the at the rate of icon and then paste your coupon code here paste your IP address here so I'll just click on the IP address and then I will paste the IP address here 
and then save it and another record that is CNAME record and the host will be www and the target will be the domain name and click on save that means www and without www both are accessible so now I will enter the domain name here just this okay let me copy it let me copy it and then let me enter it here okay and then click on save advanced and then proceed again and enter the password and username again here password and the username is this and let me log in again okay now we have to install the if I visit site and you will see this the site is working so now we have to install the SSL certificate here so for that we have to log in to the server for that we will click on the console icon and then okay so we have to enter root and then we have to enter the password just I'll copy the password from the dashboard and again go to console and click on the arrow icon and then click on the text clipboard icon and then we have to paste the password here and then click on paste and then click on again arrow and click on enter so this will you can see we have entered into root at supplement mail so now I will write a command here clear CL E A R clear to clear the console so now we have to install the SSL for that I will go to again the dashboard so you can see HTTP SSL certificates we have to install it let's encrypt via SART boot so for that I have to select this line to install SSL so I'll just copy it and I will open it in a net notepad and then I'll paste it here so for that I have to enter the this code to the console so but first I have to change the domain name so I'll just copy my domain name and then I'll change it just paste it and then paste it okay and the email is also so I'll just copy the email and I'll change it okay so now we have to select all the code okay we have to we have selected all the code and copy now we will paste it here in the console so to paste I'll just click on the arrow icon and then clipboard and then paste it and then click on paste and you can see the line will be start typing and then I'll click on again arrow icon to height and then click on enter 
okay you can see the SSL certificate is being installed you can see successfully received certification successfully deployed certificate for ATO for www.supplementmail.com and you can see let's encrypt has been successfully installed so now we will check it so for that I will go to the domain again and I will click on the refresh icon let's see what happened so you can see nothing happened so I will go to the dashboard again and click on settings and we have to make a change you can see the HTTP so we have to click on S we have to enter S again to make it HTTPS so now I'll save again and I have to log in again so I'll click on the username and then I'll click on the password again this and then click on login and I hope the SSL certificate will be installed let's see you can see we have now SSL certificate so this is how you can install your WordPress with SSL on the Vulture server so thank you so much guys if you like this video please subscribe this channel and don't forget to get your free hundred dollar in your Vulture server just click on the description link to get it so thank you